We want to go over setting up our Green Star rate controller. We'll start by hitting our menu button and going to Green Star rate controller. You want to set up your implement. We already have one in it, which is our 12 row 38. We're going to put a new one in so we can show you how. The first thing you have to do is name your implement. We're going to have a liquid fertilizer tool. New. We'll call it a 12 row. Let's say we call it a 36. It's going to change our settings for us. Now, the system though, our width is wrong. First thing we want to do is set up our sections. We're going to have one section and it's going to be 36 feet wide for 12 36s. We'll hit enter. It notices that our two implement our two widths are wrong. We will adjust it so that our implement width is 36 feet. We are not using a height switch, so we will not be sharing that. The next thing you do once you have your implement, we want to go to system. Your section valve type is your own off valve. You either have three wire or two wire. All of our systems are three wire. Hardy is the only one that uses a two wire switch. Our control valve type, you have standard, fast close, fast, PWM, PWM close, and none. A standard or a fast is a butterfly type valve like some of our older systems may have. We will be using PWM for pulse width modulation. We put in the capacity of our tank. The rig we were on, our own will carry 1,250 gallons. Our next step is our flow meter calibration. You get that number by looking on the tag on your flow meter. Our flow meter tag is 720. And with a Raven flow meter, that needs to be in 10 gallon units because it is 720 pulses for 10 gallons. We are not using flow return. We are not having an electronic pressure sensor. We do not have an agitator valve. Okay, on your PWM, you have some setup you need to do. It will put a coil frequency of 122. We have a control valve calibration of 1533, which is the number you use for a Raven valve. Your low limit is a zero. I will usually start by putting a high at 100. And then our next step will be to calibrate PWM limits. We will mash that button. It will notice it's going to dispense liquid. Okay, we're going to turn our master on. We're going to start our test. That's at three gallons a minute. I'm going to back my low one down to where I'm at least running a gallon a minute. Somewhere in that neighborhood, that's zero. Okay, that's as low as it'll go. Now we're going to start going the other way. We'll hit our plus. What I do is set it where it goes to the max out of my pump. So 58 gallons a minute is the most it'll pump. We set that as our high limit and it's now calibrated our PWM. Okay, I got through setting my limits. When I go back to setup, and I look at my PWN setup, I now have a high and a low limit like we just calibrated. Our next, our next uh, screen is alarms where we can go in and set the different alarm levels we may have for how much over and under. If you want to be alarmed at 10% over or under, you can change that 20 to a 10. Rates is our other important screen. We need a key in. We can have up to three predefined rates. Let's say we have our first rate at 30 gallons, our second rate at 50, and our third rate at 60. With those set up, if we go back and look at our run page, we now have 30, 50, and 60 in as our predefined rates.
okay to check your system to see if it can uh, how it's going to look while you're sitting still without having to move you can do a nozzle flow check it's under your diagnostics tab you want to run a test and we're going to choose a nozzle flow check it will warn you you're about to dispense liquid we'll say let's test it at six miles an hour at 50 gallons to the acre We'll turn our master switch on, we'll hit start, and the system will adjust itself to 50 gallons. If I wanted to see if I could go what I look like at 5 miles an hour, change 6 to 5, and the system will adjust down to that. So you can put in different rates and speeds to see what you look like.